Farming today is much as it's always been. The seasons may change, but for years, decades even, little else has for British farmers. So now, with Brexit on the horizon, it's prompted a shake-up. The government proposals will see farmers rewarded for boosting wildlife and tackling climate change, the sort of thing Patrick has been doing here for years. We welcome this as, as farmers. We are asking the government, we're asking DEFRA to give us the tools to succeed, but give us the tools to be able to run uh, profitable arable businesses, for us to grow good crops, cr uh, produce good livestock, but also at the same time give us the tools to benefit our natural environment. Since the 70s, British farmers have received subsidies based on the amount of land they farm. When we've left the EU, ministers want them to be paid for the so-called public goods they provide instead. Funding will be achieved if farmers take special measures to protect land, water and air quality. Of similar importance is the supporting of native plants and wildlife. Overall, the government has pledged that the £3.4 billion of funding currently administered via the EU will be matched after Brexit. Environment Secretary Theresa Villiers says the bill will transform farming over the next seven years. But there's been criticism at the lack of detail on how she'll ensure the standard of our food won't be lowered when we do deals with the US in the future. We need very clear legal provisions in the bill that guarantee that our a high environmental animal welfare and food safety standards are upheld um, and also protect farmers and consumers from lower quality imports. So we need that to be enshrined in legislation. Currently it's missing from the bill. Their concerns shared by the National Farmers Union, but the government says farmers and the environment will both benefit. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Suffolk.